Hello everyone. Welcome to Axure Interactive Components tutorial. Today I am going to talk about Axure variables. So here we have two types of variable in Axure: global and local variable. So how we will use this global and local variable? Let's see. So here I have a demo. So here I'm going to enter the full name, email address, mobile number and education level. So what exactly local variable or a global variable is performing. So here I'm going to give the name. and then education level so while I'm going to submit this form what will happen so it is fetching all the values whatever I have entered previously so here is name email mobile graduate and then course tag so same reflection is happen in this new page which is coming with these all values so this is a global variable means we are passing the value from one page or a screen to another page so now here this all data is there now I'm going to update this Now while I'm going to submit this, what will happen? It will take the local variable here and it will show the updated data. The same way it will pass the value and it will appear here. So what is the easiest way to perform this action? in Axiom. Let's see. So I'm going to create a new page. Demo. And here first And now next we are going to take the form the same way as it is in demo so for that i'm going to take here level and text field so here i'm giving name email and mobile now the next is 
next. can rename it like uh, enter name the same way we'll use enter for this also and here So here one more we need to add, we'll add select and we'll make it up, say ok. Now the next, so we have renamed these values and the next we are going to create a global for showing the global variable. So we'll create the same duplicate base and here before that we are going to show the values so once it is entered so for that we need a button so here create a button and while clicking on a button whatever value is entered by a user it should so either in pop-up or we can have below so here i'm going to create a pop-up So we need all this field so for that I will take this this and here we'll paste here so name email mobile and education so the same way we'll just copy again and we'll have this so next we'll rename this 
and before that okay first rename v name v email v mobile and v education So now I'm going to convert it as a dynamic panel. So now this is ready. Which we are going to show this and now we'll set the submit button action. So while clicking on this, it's a Take the text of this all. So this is the enter name. So what we need to do? New interaction. Click or tab. Say text. And here you can select enter. So while user is going to enter the mobile number, email or name. So we need to set text on the below this dynamic panel. So for that, take the value V and we'll add it here. So V name and then email mobile education. So now these all are added. and then name so finally the username say okay so it is done now in demo while we are reviewing entering the name so here um, this mail id mobile number anything and then say undergraduate then submit so this is reflecting here and in this demo one page it is working fine so it is the easy way to pass the value from one screen or one page to another page using the global variable so while we are creating any of the like sign in form or a user profile user is going to enter all those values so we can show to the next page and uh, it is the easiest way and it is working as a like a kind of javascript which is taking values from one page to another page so I have some other example I will show here. So here it is a sign up with profile edit and update. So we are going to preview this like a sign up form where we can enter name Okay, so here the form validation is there. So we'll write all those input field. Mobile number. Then password. password match then here it is a 
edit profile and this is a one page where we, I am going to submit this form so now it came to edit profile where it fetched the information name email and mobile number so like this we can use this global and local variable as well as while well, edit profile can change the name and if you want to update the mobile number can update save and here again it is reflecting so the way we can use this local and global variable so it is very easy to create a local and global variable just we have to keep in mind set text and if it is a local so here we can page that value from available elements and if it is in another page we want to show we can here set variable value and we can add the variable so these all are global variable and we can add add variable and we can create some new one or we can edit this even we can set the default value also and the next uh, step in a next page we just say page loaded and set text So today's lesson is completed. So how is the lesson about the global and local variable? Please write your comment. Thank you. Thank you very much.